All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is um this is evening for me. Um. So this is the Mo Moderoid Savage in Sand. So this is one of those format of panic kit that is kind of like, hey, why did could have, uh, Good Smile release this out of all companies? It could have been Kurobukiya, could have been Alter, it could have been Bandai. Um. But yeah. So this is the front of the box. This is Sand version. The side with the cutout of the AS back with the various weapons that it has and the figure holding up, uh, and then once again the side profile. The back side has the same as the front cover, and so does the top side, just in a different orientation. Just in a different orientation. All right, so let's open this up. So unlike Bandai Kits, which is just opens up, um, this is actually taped for some reason. More tape. Oh, this opens very weirdly. It opens like that. And uh, here are our runners, where I stab myself with this. So first we have the manual. This is a, a color manual um, for all the parts actually. Uh, we can kind of see that it has a little bit of inner frame in the this is the leg and uh, not much of an inner frame in the arms and uh, here's the runner counts yeah so first we have uh, the Runners. So this is runner A. Like Bandai, this is just a single color. Um, there's no excessive flashing that I can see. And uh, yeah, it's in a sand color as uh, the product suggests. Um, the detail seems relatively crisp. Um, the very strange thing is that the hand uh, as where my thumb is right now is actually a single piece. There's no like, you know, the typical Bandai back of the hand uh, is a separate piece for color separation or anything like that. It's just a single piece. Uh, for the trigger finger, um, it's different. It's uh, There's two parts, uh, the index finger part and then the thumb and uh, the rest of the finger part. Since this is not, this is a human, oh, it actually has uh, five fingers. Oh, sorry, four fingers on the thumb. And here is runner B. Once again, still in the sand color. Um, you can see that in the uh, arrow shape uh, parts, uh, there's lots of details. Um, there's no excessive flashing on here either. Here's C part, 
C part seems to be most of the inner frame um, or the inside of various parts. There is a, this is a very weird piece. We'll see what it does later. Uh, this uh, flat piece, piece where this piece here. And here we have the various weapons. So we have a, um, a very classic um, non-American carbine looking thing. And we have a larger sword and a shorter dagger and a uh the does it call it a grenade launcher i guess or the grenade yeah and that's all the pieces and uh, finally we have a set of stickers there's four stick four uh red pieces for the eyes that's upside down and this comes with in separate packaging usually bandai just throws it in its own thing uh in its in a bag with one of the parts Right, so that is unboxing of the Moderate Savage. The reason why I bought it is so that uh, this thing can have something to beat up. And luckily, they are on the same scale. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, have a good night.